Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have a very special video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up the DJI drones with your KISS stuff. So if you fly DJI and you want to fly KISS but you can't because you don't know what your voltage is, I'm going to show you how to set that up today. Let's go. <music> All right, pilots, so when they came out with the digital FPV system, they made it proprietary, which means you can only use their radio and you can only use their goggles. Well, we found a way to not wire the receiver portion of it, and you can still fly your Crossfire or your Futuba or, or your FlySky, whatever you're into, you can fly. But what if you want to get OSD? Well, they actually did find a way for that. They set it up on an MSP through a UART where you could actually get a almost full beta flight OSD. You're not getting all of your sensors and your alarms and stuff, but you are getting your voltage, which is most important because we need to know when we need to fly back and land. Well, what if you fly KISS? Well, you're dead in the water because they don't have that for KISS. So what we had to do is we actually had to wire a separate board by Betaflight, for example, a 20 by 20 or a 16 by 16 or even a full 30 by 30, you would have to wire that up and put it into your drone next to your KISS flight controller in order to be able to receive voltage because the only other way to do it is to fly and feel for the battery sag and then come back and risk hurting your battery or risk not making it back at all and that's just no way to fly. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. All right, pilots, so the first thing we need to do is jump into this Google Drive here. This is directly from Mr. Alex himself. We need to give many, many thanks to him because without him, we wouldn't have this option available to us. Right here, you're going to see a Chrome app GUI and a firmware. Click the firmware and then click download. Wherever that downloads, we will go to it in a minute. Don't worry about it right this second. Once you have it, you're good to go. We are going to flash that firmware right here in a little bit. So the next thing we need is we need to get the GUI. This is a Chrome app GUI. Go ahead and download it. It's pretty much the same thing. It just works off of Google Chrome rather than working off of the PC itself. Once you've downloaded it, you need to go to the place that you have downloaded it and you need to open up your unzipper. Once you have your unzipper, whatever unzipper you use, make sure that you unzip both of these files. Now, when I unzip mine, I'm going to designate a specific folder for it. So you'll see here, I'll go into FPV, and if you follow along with me at all in any of my other videos, you know that we keep things very organized, and we do that for a reason. So I'm going to create a new folder called KISS DJI. I'm going to go ahead and extract both of these files into that folder. Then go ahead and close it out. Then you're going to move on to going back, and I'm going to make sure that both of them are there. Yep, there they are. We are good to go. Now, you'll notice inside of this main folder, you're going to see a bunch of different components and different things inside of here, and none of them are actually usable at this stage. And the reason why is because we are going to put it onto a GUI, and we are going to make it usable then. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get onto the Flyduino website. And if you don't know where that is, I will link that down in the video description, along with the Google Drive. I'll put that down in the video description, too. Then you can come up here and you can go to Downloads, or you can just search, and you're going to type How to Install a Chrome App, or Search Chrome App, or whatever. But I'm going to leave the link for you anyways. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to see that KISS will allow for Chrome apps to be installed, and then you can run the KISS uh, GUI right from Chrome. If you're not familiar with Chrome, it's just Google Chrome. You can download it on any PC you want. Now, in order to download or in order to install the KISS GUI, you need to go into your extensions. So I will link that down in the video description as well, and you can use that to go ahead and know where to go. But if you don't know, you can just come here to the website like I have here. That's why I've walked you through this, so that way you can see it. And then we are going to type it out right here. And once you type it out, it's going to bring you to the actual extension store where you can download and purchase different apps if you want to. Now, in order for this to work, you do have to enable developer mode. You'll see that right here in the top right-hand corner. Go ahead and enable this. 
All right, once you have done that, you would normally come right here to the search bar and you would search KISS or you would search uh, GUI or wh whatever. But in this scenario, we are not going to do that. We are going to hit Upload. And then we are going to go to that destination folder that we have specifically set aside for this project. And you're going to grab that GUI and you are going to upload it. And when you do that, it's going to begin to install itself. And once it's installed, you'll be able to use it. We do recommend closing it out and restarting Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and then open a new one. On the top left, you'll see your apps. Go ahead and click that. And bam, there is your new KISS GUI. Now, once you click on that, you're going to see that you have a whole GUI, just like you would on your PC. It's going to offer for you to download the newest firmware. Don't do that because you don't want the newest firmware. You want this firmware. You want the one that is by Alex. Then go ahead and click Advanced. Once you get into Advanced, you will see here that you do not have the option for a serial. So we are going to update the firmware of your flight controller. Make sure your flight controller is plugged in and then go to Update. And then you're going to go to that one firmware that we found that we downloaded. So then go ahead and click that and then hit Open. Once you do that, you'll have the opportunity to flash firmware. And if you see here when I click it, it's going to actually tell me that it failed. And I'm glad that you were able to see that because it is being a little bit finicky. So if it does say fail, no big deal, disconnect, reconnect, and then go back to select firmware, click that firmware, and then flash that firmware. It might not work again, and that's fine. Just rinse and repeat till it does work. Once it works, you will see that it'll start uploading and it'll start flashing that flight controller for you. All right, pilots, once your firmware is completed, it has been a success. You'll need to reactivate, you know, assuming you have an authentic board. Once you're done with that, you are going to go into the advanced tab. And what you'll notice now is we have a serial configuration. Click that checkbox and then click I know what I'm doing. And now you will see that down in the drop menu of your different serials, aka UARTs, you will now have the option for MSP. That is what will allow us to get voltage through the UART and into our goggles. What I found here is that you can use Serial 1. It worked for me. I also tried Serial 3 and it worked for me. I was having a hard time and that was because on Serial 5, I did not leave VTX plus ESC telemetry. Once I switched that back, it began working for me. I don't know if that will be true for everybody, but I did want to share that just in case you have trouble. Also, with your pads, it's important to know that on your board you have an easy accessible UART, and that is UART 4. Do not use that. You will need to use the pins that are located on the side of your flight controller. Now, jumping into the quad itself, this here is my Marmote or Marmote, whatever you want to call it, and I put DJI in it because this is the DJI version. I wanted to show you here what it looks like done and complete. I'm so excited to fly KISS in the beautiful HD footage. I'm just thrilled. I cannot wait to do that. All right, go ahead and power everything up. You do not need to power up your radio for this to work, but I'm going to power it up so that I can arm and disarm and show you that everything is working properly. Now, right here in the bottom of the goggles, you will see next to the arrow, I have my voltage. It's live. My DJI air unit does unlock, and you will see down here at the bottom, I have voltage. I have a timer. I am live and kicking. I would love to be able to move the voltage and put it in the top left-hand corner. That's where I like to have it, but unfortunately with this, we just don't have that luxury yet. Hopefully one day we will. I want to give one last shout out to Alex because without him, this wouldn't be possible. It's super awesome that he's done that for us. Yes, I know my DJI goggles are sick. I have a full video on how I did this. I will link that down in the video description. I'll also throw a card up in the right-hand corner. Go ahead and check that out. It was a lot of fun. We had a blast, and we made them super awesome. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one.